Want to use Airbnb, but not sure how the site works? Don't worry, we'll show you the ropes. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com. In this video, we'll be giving you a tour of the Airbnb website and showing you how to use it. Now let's get started. Open your web browser and go to airbnb.com. Then sign into your account. Click login in the top right corner. You can log in with your Facebook or Google account or with your email address and password, depending on how you created your account when you first signed up. Check out our tutorial on how to sign up for Airbnb if you haven't made your account yet. Now you're ready to look for properties to stay at on your next vacation. Click in the text box labeled where and type in the destination you want to stay at. In the next text box labeled when, input your desired check-in and check-out dates. Under Guests, use the drop-down menu to select how many people you need accommodations for. You'll be taken to a page with results matching your search criteria. There may be an overwhelming number of results, so let's see how we can narrow down the search a little to make it easier for you to find the right place for you. Near the top of your screen, you'll see a few options for search filters. The first one is Room Type. Select whether you want the entire home, a private room, or if you're okay with a shared space. Generally, renting the entire home will be more expensive, and it gets cheaper the more you're willing to share space with other guests. Now, select the price range you're looking to stay within. Using the slider in the drop-down window, indicate your minimum and maximum amounts you'd like to pay per night. Then click Apply. The next search filter is Instant Book. Enable the instant booking filter if you don't want to wait for the host to approve your booking request and only want to consider properties you can book right away. If you have other specifications you're looking to meet, click on the More Filters tab. Here you'll find more filters like number of bedrooms, beds, and washrooms. You can also choose to filter your results so you only see properties managed by recognized super hosts who are deemed to give better service or filter by available amenities, facilities, and more. When you're done making your filter selections, click See Homes. Now you can browse through your filtered search results and look for a property that interests you. Scroll through the list of results or check out the map on the right to choose a property based on its location. Click on a listing to read more details about it and see additional photos. Once you've found a listing you like, you can start the process of booking your stay at that property. On the right side of the listing details, select your desired check-in and check-out dates and number of guests, then click Book, or Request to Book if the listing you're interested in does not allow instant booking. Next, you can choose to add a note to the host if you like. Tell them about yourself, who's coming with you, and the purpose of your trip. Review the host's house rules. Then click Next. Next, you'll be asked to enter your billing information. Select the country you live in and choose your payment type. Let's assume you want to pay with your credit card. Enter your credit card information, then enter your name and your postal code. Finally, click Confirm and Pay. Once your booking is confirmed, you'll receive an email from Airbnb letting you know that your booking is all good to go. Click Trips at the top of your screen to see a list of your Airbnb bookings. Click View Itinerary to view the details of your stay. You can now also find fun experiences available for booking on Airbnb, like city tours, wine tastings, horseback riding, and more. To browse experiences, select the city and dates you're traveling to, and the number of people you want to include. Then click Experiences. Narrow down the results by selecting the type and category of experience you're looking for. There are plenty of categories to choose from. Look through the results and click on an experience that interests you to read more about it. If you're interested in making a reservation, click See Dates. View the list of dates available, then click Choose Date beside the one that works best for you. Review the guest requirements, then click Next. 
add as many guests as you would like to bring with you. Click the plus sign beside add another guest, then enter their first and last name and email address. When you're done adding people, click next. On the next page, select your country and enter your payment information. When you're all done, click confirm booking. You'll receive an email from Airbnb confirming the details of your booking. If you'd like to communicate with the host on Airbnb, you can send them a message. When you have a listing open you have questions about, scroll down to the bottom of the About This Listing section, then click Contact Host. Enter your check-in and check-out dates and number of guests. Then click in the text box below and type in what you would like to say or ask. When you're done, click Send Message. You can check your messages by clicking Messages at the top right side of your screen. You'll be notified when someone sends you a message or when someone responds to a message you sent them. When you're finished using Airbnb, you can log out of your account. To do so, click on your profile picture in the top right corner. Then click Log Out. That does it for this video on how to use Airbnb. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.